Robbinsdale police are asking for the public's assistance in finding a missing man. 39-year-old Tyser Siv was last seen on Memorial Day. His friends and family haven't heard from him since then. Reporter Sonia Goins has the latest on the investigation. Robbinsdale police are asking residents to check their security cameras to see if they can locate Mr. Siv. So far, they've turned up empty handed. We don't believe at this point there's any foul play. Police say Tizer Siv left his home near 40th and Scott Avenue North at around 7.30 p.m. on Memorial Day, and no one has seen or heard from him since that time. As of right now, we haven't gotten any tips that led us into a uh, a, a good direction to find him. Police say he didn't take his cell phone or wallet when he went out for a walk and they're not sure what direction he was traveling. His family and friends are worried because he takes medication for some health issues and he might become confused without his meds. I know he has had some mental health issues in the past um, and so I don't know if that's contributed to why he hasn't returned yet or why he hasn't made phone calls. Kaiser is 5'6", about 210 pounds, with brown hair and hazel eyes. He was last seen wearing a blue, light gray t-shirt and blue shorts. If you have any information, call Robbinsdale Police or the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office. We're still trying to track down as much as we can, but as of right now, we haven't got any major lead to follow up where he might have went to. In Robbinsdale, Sonia Goins, CCX News. The city of Maple Grove is taking action to curb a significant rise in rental properties. The city council approved a one-year moratorium that prevents single-family homes and townhomes from being turned into rentals. It takes effect July 1st. The moratorium does not impact apartment buildings and other shared entry buildings such as condos. City officials say they have seen a 30% increase in rental licenses in just the past two years and express concern about limiting home ownership opportunities. A recent Brooklyn Center High School graduate will have a few thousand dollars in her pocket to help pay for college. Sharima Dixon says because of COVID and family situations, she wasn't sure she'd even be able to graduate. But reporter Sonia Goins shows us how she beat the odds. A new chapter is about to begin for Sharima Dixon. I was very happy and shocked because I really thought that I would not get it. She was awarded the Anija Griffin McNeil Scholarship, which is in honor of the 2020 Brooklyn Center graduate. That wonderful, amazing little lady is no longer with us. Griffin McNeil was fatally shot while away at college in Texas. Her father, Andre McNeil, says although the shooting happened last year, he is constantly reminded of his daughter. Every time there's a song that come on, there's a place that I visit, there's a memory that pops up that just instantly impacts me and our family. One, two, three. Dixon says she's grateful to share in Griffith McNeil's legacy. The scholar was able to maintain her top GPA, graduate, and get accepted at Kentucky State University, all while taking care of her mom and two siblings who have medical conditions. It's been a lot, but I've been used to it because I've been taking care of my big brother because he has epilepsy for like the majority of my life. And then my sister, little sister, also has epilepsy. Dixon is the first in her family to attend college and says the funds will help ease some of her financial burdens. I'm very excited. Even though it's going to be a very big jump because I'm going to be the only one being there and it's going to be a new environment, but I feel like I will fight through it. In Brooklyn Center, Sonia Goins, CCX News. When people crave food from other cultures, some of the options that may immediately come to mind include Chinese, Mexican, or Italian. Now Minnesotans have the option of ordering food from the Central Asian nation of Uzbekistan. In this week's edition of Takeout Tuesday, Delane Cleveland takes us to Plymouth, which is home to Minnesota's only Uzbek restaurant. My aunts, my mom, Everybody's in the kitchen. The United States is a melting pot of cultures, and in a small strip mall in the southeast corner of Plymouth, visitors can get a taste from a country located more than 6,000 miles away. I think that's one of the beautiful things about America. You can access to different cultures and their cuisines. Aziz Rajabov is the owner of Samarkand, Minnesota's only Uzbek restaurant. It's named after the town where Aziz and his family are from. I think our cuisine has a lot of to offer and different tastes for people. Uzbekistan was once part of the Great Silk Road uniting the East and West. And as such, their food is inspired by both regions. Samsas, so um, other cultures known as uh, 
samosas, but we stuff them with beef and onions. Other popular items include steamed dumplings, which are quintessentially Chinese, or soups that are more commonly associated with Russia. We make everything from scratch, including the noodles. The staff consists of Aziz and his family. They moved to Minnesota in 2019 from New York City and opened the restaurant in an area with a large Russian community. Our cuisine is quite known, you know, Uzbek cuisine known uh, within the Soviet circles. Now, after surviving the restrictions brought about by the pandemic, Aziz and his family are eager to introduce Uzbek cuisine to a wider audience. The most enjoyable aspect is, you know, introducing our cuisine and culture to new people who haven't heard about us, you know, and see excitement in their eyes and when they try our food and how happy they get. That's the best feeling. In Plymouth, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. A local brewery is holding a fundraiser for a cause that's deeply personal. I personally have had a couple of bouts with cancer, so I as an adult, it's been a struggle, so I can't even imagine what parents and their children are going through. Wicked Wart Brewing in Robbinsdale is hosting an event this Saturday to raise funds for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital to help kids battling cancer. The event is called Brews, Blues and Barbecues. In addition to barbecue specials, live music will take place starting at 11 a.m. with two stages. Raffle tickets are $10. The fundraiser was supposed to be held about two years ago, but the pandemic spoiled those plans. It's precious to our heart because, like I said, as an adult, it's a difficult thing, but to even imagine as a child, I mean, that's out of this world. So it, it definitely affects the family, friends and the communities. The raffle will feature many great prizes, including a large Traeger grill.